we are going to study about the KCL and we'll perform the experiment of KCL on Tinkercad. So uh, let us first understand that what KCL is and what we are going to do exactly in this experiment. Now let us suppose that uh, I do have a resistance over here and there it forms a node from where two different branches of resistances can be noticed now on this these branches let me call it uh, this is the resistance r1 this is the resistance r2 and this is the resistance r3 on a similar note i will call that let me suppose that current flowing over here is i1 the current here is i2 current here is i3 in that case, we can see, we can correctly say in accordance with KCL that uh, KCL that is Kirchhoff current law is that I1 is equals to I2 plus I3. Now let me seek another example with a similar circuit that if this circuit says that the node is of this kind. that the direction of current in this node for here is this, this and this. So if I call it R1, R2 and R3 and the current this is again I1, I2 and I3 then what I will write over here is that now i3 is equals to i1 plus i2 because uh, the current on this node i1 and i2 are incoming currents and i3 is outgoing current so outgoing current is equal to all the in incoming currents and in this case i1 was the incoming current and i2 and i3 are outgoing currents so outgoing currents are equal to incoming currents so this is something that we need to prove in uh, uh, this uh, KCL experiment. So what we are going to do is we are going to follow a particular circuit for this KCL. Now what is the circuit? Uh, the circuit that we are going to follow is like this. Let me see that I have a DC battery of 9 volts and this is the resistance R1 here we do have a node here we have the resistance R2 then again there we have the resistance R3 again a node there we have the resistance R4 and these are connected like this. I may form a node over here, may form a node over here. This is a positive node, this is a negative node. Now if I talk about the directions, direction of currents, let me, let me take it like here you have current I1, here you have current I2. Here you have, uh, because R2 is here, let me take I, I2 here, there you have I3 and there you have I4. In this circuit, let me suppose this node is Y. So at node Y, I can say that I1 is equals to I2 plus I3 and i3 is equals to i4 because there is no other node which is present so all the current coming over here is flowing through this so i can safely say i1 is equals to i2 plus i4 this is what i need to do in this experiment now how the current is measured the current is measured as Let 
we okay so I, I, I'll, I'll, I'll delete this portion let us uh, clear the canvas and we'll uh, make the circuit again for the sake of convenience what we will do is here we do have a 9 volt battery you can take any voltage of the battery over here here I place the emitter A A1 you call with these polarities then you have the resistance then you have another emitter A2 then the resistance polarity of this emitter is like this then you have node over here and then A3 then a resistance and then emitter A4 then a resistance and like this fine now this is the voltage V I should say that if this is resistance R1, this is R2, this is R3, this is R4, then current in A1 should be equal to current in A2 plus current in A3. Fine, taking the directions this way. Or current in A1 is equal to current in A2 plus current in A4 because, because A3 current in A3 is equal to current in A4. Now let us make this circuit in Tinkercad and let us see that what all the theoretical concepts that we have discussed right now are valid or not. For this, open the website tinkercad.com You will have this sort of a screen. Click on join now button. Then create a personal account. Sign in with the Google account. You may create a new Google account or you may sign in with your present email account as well. This kind of a window should open. You go to circuits and then create new circuit. Right? And after creating new circuit, you can see that on, on your uh, the right hand side of the screen there are multiple uh, components which are available. Now let me start with the experiment. Initially I will take the breadboard. When you will click it, the breadboard will start appearing on the screen. Just drag it and place it here. It is very necessary to understand the breadboard for this experiment. In the breadboard, you will see the top row, top two rows, where the this positive and negative sign is given. These rows are horizontally shorted. And these rows are in the second row, these are vertically shorted. These are uh, horizontally disconnected. And these two rows are vertically disconnected. Similar is goes in the fashion of this row and this row. Getting interconnected means if I place uh, the power supply, positive power supply to this point, it will be off. Uh, it will mean that if I connect the output from any of the point over here, I can take output from any other point. Now let us do that and try to prove this with some demonstration. Let me take a 9 volt battery over here. You will place it here. It's, it's connecting nodes are here. So you select the battery, press the key R. It will start rotating when you see that you have rotated the battery you can drag it to this place then select the positive part connect with positive anywhere to avoid any confusion for every positive will take red color select the negative part connect it with negative for the convenience, you will take black color. Now to check that whether these are shorted or not, what we will do, we will take one multimeter here. This multimeter can be 
checked on any of the modes ampere this can be made ammeter voltmeter or it can check resistance also since we are going to check the resistance oh sorry voltage of the battery so we will click on the voltage this dark portion will show that in which mode this uh, multimeter is working now uh, you take a wire and this wire you connect anywhere in the negative part anywhere pick another wire connect anywhere in the positive part to avoid confusion again make it red now when you will simulate it you will see that multimeter is showing 9 volt which is the battery means you have given the input over here it is taking output from anywhere so that is how uh, this breadboard works now let me remove these uh, wires and let us start with the experiment now in this experiment you need to see that this emitter first of all uh, you need to connect these resistances r1 r2 r3 and r4 see very carefully the resistance r1 let me pick some other color for your convenience this resistance r1 this resistance r3 these are horizontally connected resistance r2 and r4 are vertically connected what is the more important point that in r2 and r4 one of the node is connected to of both of these resistance is connected to the negative of the battery and they are also connected shorted with each other so how i am going to do this i am going to i am going to connect the this resistance one over here press r rotate it let me uh, connect this these wires also uh, in such a fashion that this wire can be connected here and this wire can be connected here so that we can see most of the space in uh, breadboard now the second resistance is going to be placed vertically the third resistance again horizontal and fourth resistance again vertical in this experiment we have taken 1 kilo ohm value for for all the resistances now since uh, uh, now now you see that whatever what all we discussed over here that uh, these two resistances r2 and r4 uh, these these resistances uh, r2 and r4 these are connected their one port is connected with each other and they are further connected with the negative part of the voltage supply so what we will do what we have done over here is that this these are connected because these this is interconnected and these are further connected with the negative of voltage supply so this part is completed now see the positive of emitter is connected with the positive of the battery so the same thing we will replicate the positive of first emitter is connected with the positive of the battery and make this multimeter a emitter right then the negative of this emitter is connected with r1 so negative of this resistance or oh, emitter is connected with the port of r1 because this is here so you can connect it anywhere and since it's a negative port i will make it black 
Now here is a very crucial part. The second port of this resistance R1 is connected with the positive of A3 and the positive of A2. So what I will do over here is I will take two more multimeters A2 and A3. This is A2. Make it emitter. Then A3. Make it emitter. And their positives are connected with the second port of horizontal resistance. You see here, if you want, I can show you in another picture. See this. This resistance is connected with positive of this emitter and this emitter. This is what we have done. Now, the negative part of the second emitter is connected with the vertical resistance. Negative part of second emitter is connected with the vertical resistance. And the negative part of third emitter is connected with horizontal resistance. This is connected with the horizontal resistance. Now we are completed till this much part. Now you see the fourth emitter which is connected between R3 and R4. So its positive is connected with R3, negative is connected with R4. So we will place this over here, make it emitter, positive is connected with horizontal and the negative is connected with vertical. You see over here is positive is connected with horizontal and the negative is connected with vertical. This actually completes our circuit. Now to check let us simulate it. You see 5.4 milliampere, 3.6 milliampere, 1.8 milliampere and 1.8 milliampere. Now let us get back to it you see that A1 is showing 5.4 milliampere, A2 is showing 3.6 milliampere, A3 is equals to A4 is equals to 1.8 milliampere. Now, you see that A1 is equals to A2 plus A3 that we started in very initially. So A1 is 5.4 is equals to 3.6 plus 1.8. Similarly, A1 is equals to A2 plus A4 and A3 is equals to A4 is equals to 1.8 volt. So that's how we prove the KCN. And this is the way we do the experiment on Tinkercad. Thank you so much for listening to me.